this piece of equipment is called a beaker. It can come in def several different sizes. Very simple to draw. With our pencil reader, we draw one straight line down. A second line, and then just one line along the bottom to join those up. This piece of equipment is called a measuring cylinder. Can come in different sizes again. And again, nice and simple to draw. So we take our ruler, we draw one straight line down, a second line down, and then a line along the bottom to join the two up. This time the line just goes slightly past the two lines going down. And there you go. These pieces of equipment are similar in shape, slightly different in size. The slightly smaller one is called a test tube, and the slightly bigger one is called a boiling tube. We draw them the same. Straight line down, a second line going down, and on the bottom, this time, draw a curved line. This piece of equipment is called an evaporating basin. To draw it, you do a slight lip and then a curved line, let's say. This piece of equipment it's called a watch glass. It's a piece of glass with a slight curve at the bottom. Very simple to draw. Slightly curved line. This is called a pestle and mortar. To draw it, we draw a curved line and then we have the second part Drawn like that. This piece of equipment is called a sidearm flask. It's got a sidearm coming off of it with a delivery tube attached. Draw these two together. Draw one line down, line at an angle. line at an angle, drawing up the base, we then draw a line down but leaving a gap for the side arm, and then with the delivery tube, We have the sidearm flask and then the delivery tube coming off. This piece of equipment is called a conical flask. To draw it, we have one line on the bottom. We have a line at a slight angle. Second line at a slight angle. And then two lines coming up from there. This piece of equipment is called a filter funnel. To draw it. 
draw two lines at an angle. And then two lines going downwards. Another piece of equipment you might need to draw is a Bunsen burner. This is really simple. We just draw an arrow going upwards and beneath it we write the word heat. This piece of equipment is a stand and a clamp. To draw it, it's just one straight line down, aligned for the base, and then aligned for the clamp. This piece of equipment is called a thermometer. To draw it, we draw one straight line down and then a little bulb at the bottom. This piece of equipment is called a tripod. We often place a gauze on the top of it. And we draw these two together. So we draw one line at a slight angle, a second line at a slight angle, a line across the top, and then to draw the gauze, we draw crosses like so. Here is now a reminder of all those pieces of equipment that we've looked at today and their scientific diagrams. You may wish to pause the video now to take a closer look. OK, now that you can draw those scientific diagrams individually, what you can start to do is putting those diagrams together to draw a scientific setup. So in this setup here, I've actually got a beaker of water acting as a water bath, and then within it I've got a boiling tube that has some water in, and I'm recording the temperature using a thermometer. So to draw these all together, I'm going to start by drawing the beaker. Uh, within it, I'll add the boiling tube. And remember the boiling tube has a curved base. Inside the boiling tube, we've got a thermometer. And then in both the beaker and the boiling tube, we've got water. And to do that, we just draw a nice straight line. However, to make sure we know what's inside it, we can label it. So we can add some label lines to this diagram. And to do that, we must use a ruler again. OK, so let's label the different parts. So we've got water in the beaker. We've got water in the boiling tube, our thermometer. Our boiling tube, and then finally our beaker. Okay, so a simple example of how to draw those diagrams together for a setup. Perhaps have a go at drawing some setups of your own.